Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia News Line and here the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 28th of February. PM Modi targets Tamil Nadu government for zero development, inaugurates new projects. Secretariat employees in POK allege discrimination, warn strike on February 29. And tourists from Taiwan pray for peace of ancestors, soul and India. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday inaugurated multiple projects and laid foundation stone for new initiatives in Tamil Nadu worth over 17,000 crore rupees and castigated the UPA regime for not bothering about the southern state's progress. The Prime Minister also laid the foundation stone for a new launch complex of ISRO in the region which is worth around 986 crore rupees and the facilities set to accommodate 24 launches per year. Flagging of India's first indigenous green hydrogen waterway vessel, PM Modi said the consistent efforts of the central government have enhanced ease of living in Tamil Nadu. He lashed out at the state government and said they have no role in the development of the state. And one of the seven released convicts in former Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi's assassination case, T. Suthendra Raja, alias Santhan, passed away at the Rajiv Gandhi Government Hospital in Chennai on Wednesday. Earlier last week, the foreigner's regional registration officer under the Foreign Ministry provided an emergency travel document for Santhan, enabling his return to Sri Lanka. However, he was admitted to Chennai Hospital for cryptogenic cirrhosis where he passed away. Santan, along with six other convicts, all affiliated to LTTE, were sentenced to death for their role in the assassination. However, they were released after spending more than 32 years of incarceration. In yet another setback for ex-PM Imran Khan, a Pakistani court on Tuesday indicted Khan and his wife Bushra Bibi on charges that they allegedly received land as a bribe by misusing his office during his premiership. The judgment came in the case related to al Qadir Trust, which is a non-governmental welfare organization set up by Imran Khan and Bushra Bibi in 2018, when he was still in office. Prosecutors say the trust was a front for Khan to receive a valuable 60 acres of land in a district outside Islamabad and another large piece of land close to Khan's hilltop mansion in the capital as a bribe for a real estate developer, Malik Riyaz Hussain, who is one of Pakistan's most powerful businessmen. The couple and Hussain have denied any wrongdoing. The indictment is the latest in a string of convictions against Khan, who has been in jail since August. The sentences, some up to 14 years, have also disqualified him from taking part in politics for 10 years. Moving on, government employees in POK have announced a strike this week to protest the government's discriminatory policies against them. They allege Islamabad wants to fire Kashmiri workers to replace them with those from Pakistan, a report. The Secretariat employees in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have announced they will hold a strike on February 29 to protest the government's discriminatory policies against them. The employees allege Islamabad wants to fire Kashmiri workers to replace them with those from Pakistan. That is why they are not being promoted to permanent positions and they only receive half of the allowances as compared to their Pakistani counterparts. बार हां मर्तबा हमने मतालबा किया कि हमें सेक्रेटेरियट अलाउंस जो पाकिस्तान के चारों सूबों में 50 फीसद से बढ़ाकर अनास करके उसको 100 फीसद कर दिया गया है और आजाद कश्मीर में इस वक्त तक हमें सिर्फ वो 50 फीसद दिया जा रहा है तो हमारा ये बड़ा मतालबा है कि हमें 100 फीसद ये अलाउंस दिया जाए दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम गवर्नमेंट वर्कर्स इन पीओके हैव टू ऑफन हिट द स्ट्रीट्स to demand even their basic rights, which they say meet a bureaucratic blockade at the behest of the political leadership of Pakistan. 
मैं समझता हूँ हम उनतीस तारीख को हड़ताल करेंगे मैं देखता हूँ आज़ाद कश्मीर में वजी अजम साहब कितने लोगों को फारग करके घर भेजते हैं हमें मुलाजमत से फारग करेंगे बाकी किसी चीज़ से फारग नहीं हो सकते हम इस रियासत के शहरी हैं फिर हम इसी जगह इनका मुकाबला करेंगे और वो इससे ज़्यादा मजबूत अंदाज में हम करेंगे The Taliban on Tuesday said that the private UNSC meeting on Afghanistan has ended with no conclusion and termed it a failed meeting. The meeting of the Security Council in which the appointment of a UN envoy for Afghanistan was supposed to be discussed convened behind closed doors on Monday. Taliban spokesman Zabihullah Mujahid said that there was no consensus among the members and the member countries may try to make a result of the meeting by themselves. 11 member countries of the UNSC in a joint statement asked the Taliban to protect all Afghans rights particularly the rights of women and girls however reacting to this statement mujahid said it indicates the lack of information of these countries about afghanistan since seizing power in 2021 taliban has imposed severe restrictions particularly on women banning them from work and education Following this, no country has formally recognized Taliban's regime in Afghanistan. Nepal's armed police force conducted a mock drill in the Chandagiri Hills on Tuesday to prepare for possible situations at the time of a disaster. Located at an elevation of over 2500 meters above sea level, rescuers slid down a rope with rescue equipment and made their way to stuck gondolas. They worked swiftly to open the doors, calm the trapped people and brought them to the ground safely. They were later checked for their health condition by the medical team. The simulation exercise comes at a time when the hill station is gearing up to welcome tourists from March onwards. मा प्राकृतिक तथा यांत्रिक खराबी को कारणले केवल कारमा सवार यात्रुहरु बीच बाटोमे रोकिने आदि जोखिमहरु को सम्भावनालाई मध्य नजर राखी यसरी रोकिएका यात्रीहरुलाई निश्चित अवधि भित्र सुरक्षित अवतरण गराउनु पर्ने अन्तर्राष्ट्रिय मापदण्ड समेत रहेको हुँदा टुरिस्ट फ्रम ताइवान भिजिटेड दि ब्याङ्क्स अफ सेक्रेट फल्गु रिभर इन इन्डियाज बिहार स्टेट अन ट्युसडे एन्ड परफर्म रिचुअल्स फर दि डिपार्टेड सोल अफ देयर एन्सेस्टर्स अकॉर्डिङ टु हिन्दू स्क्रिप्चर्स सम रिचुअल्स आर परफर्म पोस्टमसली फर एन्सेस्ट्रल पीस नोन एज पिंडदान दि फरेन भिजिटर्स प्रिपेयर्ड बोल्स अफ कुक्ड राइस एन्ड सेसेमे सीड्स विच आर सर्व टु एन्सेस्टर्स एज पार्ट अफ दि रिचुअल्स It is believed that performing ritual of pind dan liberates departed soul and is a way to show respects to them. Today is really our privilege and we are very honored that to have this precious opportunity to come over here to worship our ancestor because this is a very holy place and India is a very traditional place for us. to uh, pay our respect to our ancestors our grandfather and grandmother and my father and it's a, a very pure place for us to show our appre appreciation to our you know loved ones who is maybe passed away that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.